Step 8. Placing and working with the object. We will now save the object and then place and manipulate the finished object. While still in the library part editor window, select the file Save As menu command. In the upcoming dialog, find an appropriate folder for your object. In the file name field, enter pedestal underscore table underscore p90. Click the Save button to save it. Close the editor window and go back to the floor plan. Activate the 6.3 Working with the Object Saved view. Select the Object tool in the toolbar. The dialog opens up with the object you just saved and selected. In the Parameters list, you can see all the parameters you created. Above the Parameter list, you can see the width, depth, and height parameters from the top to the bottom. We used the height parameter in the object, so you can expect it to react upon changing this latter parameter. As you can also notice, the default parameters we set in the editor window are now displayed for the parameters. In the upper right corner is the preview window of the object. It currently displays the 2D view of the object. As you can see, the program has automatically created five hotspots at the center and the corners of the bounding box for easy placement. In the preview window, click the middle hotspot. There will be a rectangular box around the selected hotspot. When you later place the object, the object will be placed in such a way that its selected hotspot will be located at the position you clicked. Click OK to close the dialog. Click somewhere in the middle of the screen to place the object. Notice that the object was placed by the selected hotspot. This is handy if you want to align your object to some other element by one of its hotspots. Select the object by clicking on one of its hotspots or drawing an area selection rectangle around it. Click the right mouse button. In the Appearing Context menu, select the Show Selection Marquee in 3D command. Select the object in the 3D window. Notice that in 3D there are five hotspots at its base plane and another five hotspots above the previous five at a certain distance above them. That distance is defined by the Z, Z, Y, Z, X parameter and this is why we used it. We wanted the model of the object to align with this parameter. Click the upper middle 3D hotspot. In the appearing pet palette, select the stretch height command. Move your cursor around to see how the 3D bounding box of the object stretches along with your movements. It gives visual feedback on how large the object will be after the stretch. On the keyboard, enter the following, 600. Then press the Enter key. With this, you enter the new height into the tracker, although usually you need to press shortcuts such as R, X, or A to activate a field in the tracker Immediately starting to enter a value, we enter it into the most obvious field. Since we are vertically stretching an object, the height is the obvious choice for the input. The new value will be applied to the object as seen in its 3D model and 3D hotspots. As you can see, the model and the 3D hotspots continue to be in alignment with each other. If you did not use the parameter ZZYZX, Stretching the height would modify the position of the upper 3D hotspots, but not the geometry of the object. This concludes this chapter.